Okay, next is Mike Lyons in for Greg Brannon, U.S. Senate. where uh, Mr. Holland has gone above and beyond. Uh, one time there was a neighbor of mine who, whose animal, and I don't think Robbie's probably ever told him this story, but he, uh, he really moved a lot of hearts within my own family and my neighbor's family, and he uh, accidentally hit one of my neighbor's dogs. And uh, they didn't know it. They, they weren't watching it. They didn't see it happening. But he took the dog to their door and said, I've hit your animal. I'm going to take it to the vet. Would you like to go with me? And he paid for the vet. He paid to get him well. And to this very day, that three-legged dog is still walking around our yard. <laughs> you please uh, just take a quick moment. Um, I'm here uh, for Dr. Brandon's staff, uh, which is really an honor. Uh, and I almost don't deserve it. Uh, up until this last December, I did not know whose race I would be sponsoring. Uh, for this primary because uh, back in June or May uh, for our district convention, I, I told myself and a few of the people there that when I was considering uh, Tom Tillis as our House Representative, I did not like liking a politician as much as I liked that man uh, because Tom Tillis had done a lot constructively for North Carolina. However, as the months passed and I went down, I realized that there was a difference between state government and federal government. State government is my neighbors. They're, they're people that I can drive six hours to meet and talk with. And so I considered those two models of government, and I considered his approaches. And I considered this, this young man who was out of Cary, who was this obstetrician uh, of 20 years, who was a father of seven, has three adopted, who was homeschooled those children and started a charter, had been a charter member of the Cary Christian School. And I listened to this man, and I, and, I, and I didn't know if I liked him at first, because the things that I heard about him were very emotional and very rhetorical, and I was like, there's no one that can be that, have that kind of conviction and be serious. And then I heard him speak. And this man truly is a fireball. Dr. Grant Brennan is a fighter. And that is the kind of man that I fell in love with. And back in December, I approached Tom, Mr. Mr. Speaker Tillis, who knows me, and I said, Mr. Tillis, I respect you. I asked him to be my mentor many months ago, and unfortunately his time was just, I see a better man to fight to face Senator, uh, Senator Hagan and to beat her on the topics of health care and to repeal Obamacare, not to amend it, but to take it from the federal level and bring it back to the states. Amen. This is a man that has a only almost one special interest, and that is a special interest of pro-life. This man cites life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. And he has demonstrated that by being a medical advisor for the North Carolina, uh, North Carolina Women's Right to Know Act. He was their advisor. And since the induction, the uh, beginnings of, of Affordable Care Act in 2009, he has studied constitutional law most any day that he's not homeschooling his children. That is, has been his passion. It has been his passion to remove this law and this model of federal oversight from our health care. He, he seeks to bring it back to where the clinic, about where the state and the counties and the, uh, can manage their own health. Because we all know just how effective the federal government is at running any programs. <laughs> the experience of this man, uh, one of the criticisms people have for Mr. Brennan is that he has not so much experience in the political realm. But unfortunately for those people, this country was intended to be run by the people. And it's time that we put a God, an honest to God servant citizen in DC. Thank you very much for your time. I, um, I, will, only, I, will, let this, I will leave this off saying that uh, Dr. Brennan is sponsored by Rand Paul, Senator Mike Lee, Glenn Beck, Gun Owners of America, and the National Association for Gun Rights. Thank you so much for your time, and God bless you. Do we have any questions for Michael? Please. Going once, going twice. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.